How to add reaction rules just like this in Discord Mobile? Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Discord tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add reaction rules to your Discord server on your phone. So either iPhone or Android phone. And you can do this just like you would on a desktop computer, but we'll be doing it completely on our phone. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel because that really helps me out. So as you can see here, I've set up some reaction rules where if I select one of these emojis, it will change the color of my username in that server accordingly. So if I select the green emoji, it does my text green. And if I select the tomato, it'll change it to red. So the first thing we need to do to get started is actually open up the browser on our phone. And this can be any browser. And we just need to navigate to coral.gg. This is a bot that we're going to be using to do this. And as you can see, this is a very popular bot with almost 8 million servers having it installed. So I'd consider it safe. Once you get here, select logged in with Discord. It'll then take you to discord.com. We need to begin the process of granting access to the bot to our server. So right here, log into your account. Once you get logged in, it'll bring you to the server picker where you just need to select the server that you want to add reaction rules to. So go ahead and select that server. You'll then need to grant access to that server. So select continue. And then you can set the permissions for that bot on your server. So you can change these if you want. I'm just going to keep it default and then go to the bottom and select authorize. Then verify you're human. After you've added it to your server, you can go back to Discord and then just go to the server where you added the Carl bot. So as you can see here, I can see that the Carl bot is now online. This will let you know that you've successfully connected the bot to your server. From here, the first thing we need to do is simply add the roles that we want to have as reaction roles to our server. And to do that, go back to the screen right here where you can see the different channels, select the three horizontal lines next to the server name at the top, and then select settings. From here, scroll down under user management and select roles, and then select the plus symbol in the top right. So now we can name our new role. I'm gonna do blue, and then you can select the role color. This will be the text color for the username like I was showing you earlier. So I'll just do blue right here and then select save and then select create. You can set up the permissions if you want, but I'm just gonna skip this step. And then we don't need to add any members to this. So go ahead and select skip this step. You can add as many reaction rules as you want. I'm gonna add a second one and it'll just be red. So now that we have our reaction rules created, if you have other roles in your server, what I recommend doing is selecting reorder and then just ensuring that the Carl bot role is all the way at the top. So then once you've done that, select save. And then now we can go back and actually set up the reaction rules in our server. So select the back button at the very top left, select close for the server settings. From here, you can add a new text channel if you wanna have a reaction rule specific text channel. So I'm gonna do that. And then select create. And now you can join any text channel. I'll do this from general here. And the first thing we wanna type is question mark, reaction, role, space, make. And check the description, I'll have it down there so you can just copy and paste it if you want to. Go ahead and send that. The Carl bot will respond. And then it's gonna ask us which text channel we want to add the reaction rules to. So I'm just gonna do the text channel that I just created called reaction rules. So we can see it right there, select it, and then send that. Now it's asking us, to create a title for our reaction rules and then a description. So as an example, you see how it says roles right there? That's the title. And then you don't need to worry about the description. So to type that for the title, I'm gonna add reaction roles, then just do the horizontal line. And then we need to do the brackets roles with a closing bracket, just like this. And check the description. I'll have an example down there so you can see that. So I'll send that. Now we can configure a accent color. We'll see the purple to the left of the rolls right there. That's that color. I recommend clicking this link. It's gonna bring you to a website that'll allow you to get the hex code for any color you want. So I'm gonna do this green. Once you find your color, just simply copy the text right up there with the hashtag, and then just paste that into your Discord text chat with Carlbot, and then it will add it. So all, now all we need to do is configure the emojis with their assigned role. And we do that by first selecting the emoji button, finding the emoji that we want to use. So for blue, 
I'm going to do the dinosaur, then just do a space, and then type the name of the role. So right there. So for me, it's the emoji space blue, then hit enter. If it returns the check mark, that means it was successfully connected. So now we can do the last one. So then I'm just going to do this emoji for the next one, and then I'm going to type the name and hit enter. And there you go. So we've set up all of our reaction rules. Now all we need to do is type done, hit enter, and then it will close it out for us. So now if we go to the text channel where we assigned the reaction rules, we can see them there. And if I select one of them, it'll change my text to that color. I can unselect it, select the other one, and then it'll change it to that color. So now we've created reaction rules on our Discord server on our mobile phone, either iPhone or Android phone. All right, so that's how you make reaction rules on Discord mobile. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Discord tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.